Good morning, folks. It's the last day or so of calm solar wind here before a faster stream arrives. We had another big quake hit an alert zone and we'll run down much more, but we're starting over at spaceweathernews.com. The last 24 hours on our star were very calm and the march towards cycle minimum continues. We had no solar flares whatsoever, as the sunspots are small, they are spreading, and failing to develop complexity. Rookies. Solar wind here, that minor stream was also short-lived as purple falls back down, and the KP index is in low territory. As we said at the start, it's only another day or so until the faster stream arrives from this, the bigger coronal hole, and as it faced Earth yesterday, the quake watch continued. You remember this from yesterday, the alert map, we were discussing a decent-sized rumble that hit Micronesia. It was in the aftershock oval from the 7.9 the day before. That one was eventually upgraded to 6.1. But the only red alert on planet Earth yesterday was in South America. We had both subterranean and superterranean signals causing the red alert, and a magnitude 6.4 struck far western Brazil. In addition to being a hit for the model, it was at blot echo depths given its occurrence near the transition zone and 660 kilometer discontinuity, the earthquake floor. Back to this again, one more time, Hawaii had 10 three-pointers in a month, none higher than 3.3, but we saw little question Hawaii would outdo that within half a week, and now there's three. A 4.5 yesterday means that three quakes in this short period outshook the entire last month, and nothing there has hit 4.5 since March. Interesting paper out for proponents of the new electric universe theories. We're looking at an amazing jet feature in a water-rich planetary nebula and a growing torus around the core of it. Interesting read. Let's also run down some weather here. Fiji now recovering from the first tropical cyclone of its season. The rain has stopped, but the rivers are cresting today. Best of luck to the island nations there. Moving on to India, where fog delaying transportation is only half the story, resulting from an air flow out of the north, driving extreme weather and record cold across parts of India. Same areas that didn't exactly have a lot of blankets the last time we talked about this was watching temperatures dip below freezing mark at night, and that happened in numerous cities. Unfortunately, the air continues out of the north in most forecasts until at least the second half of this week. Of course, it's that time in the United States as well, with record cold on the heels of many fallen snow records, and it has turned deadly in parts of the U.S. as well. Luckily, this is set to change here due to how fast the system ripped through the country, bringing high pressure in behind it. Not only is this air mass a bit warmer, a bit calmer, but high pressure quashes clouds and we should have a lot of states seeing sunshine here by tomorrow. Up next... We're back down here, but looking just north-northwest of Australia. Twin earth spots churning away from the northern territories up into Indonesia, and that entire area, rain's going to come down hard for a while. While the disaster prediction app should be coming out this week, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun is out right now. Solar terrestrial physics turned into something like a beginner's guidebook, Link is below and you'll also find it at our websites. We've got a couple other places to hit in terms of pressure and radar forecasts and as always, we'll follow that with shots of our star to close. Lots of blot info last couple weeks on the site, don't fall behind. It's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe everyone.